Not too long ago, I produced a video about Shane Van Boning's aiming system and how I'm using it in conjunction with my pre-shot routine as a sort of a double check. Now I got a lot of questions and comments on the video, which is awesome. Noah Pipes, deadly name by the way, from Savannah, Tennessee actually asked a question that I had to think about. He questioned what my eye pattern was when I was using this system. Now, eye pattern, that is something that I haven't thought about in a very, very long time, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So we're gonna talk about that. But I thought this would be a great opportunity to just actually go back to the table, set up the shot, and get in my face with the camera, because if there's one thing we know, the camera does not lie. We'll also take the opportunity to talk about some of the fundamentals of eye pattern. So let's roll. Before we get going, I just want to thank everybody who subscribed to the channel. In the last month, more growth has happened in the channel than in the past six months. So I thank you very much. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. It goes a long way into telling YouTube that you value what I do. All right, so the fundamentals that I think are very important, there's four of them that I want to talk about. Number one is once we find our contact point, we don't take our eyes off that contact point. And as we are bending down, I'm gonna continue the whole way down and not take my eyes off that contact point before my feather starts. Once my feather starts, that is the time where I actually take my eye off and I go back and forth and my eye pattern starts. Number two is give yourself the best view possible. Now, what's the best view possible? Well, I like to think of in terms of lenses, camera lenses. You wanna give yourself a wide angle view, not a narrow view, not a telephoto view. How's that accomplished? Well, it's basically your head placement over the cue. You don't wanna bury your head down so far. This is a telephoto. Don't be afraid. Raise your chin a little bit if you need to, to give yourself the best view to accomplish what you're trying to do. The third fundamental is your head. No head movement, very, very important. So this goes along to the point of number two is if your head was placed too low to get your proper view, you may raise your head a little bit as you're stroking. Horrible, horrible habit. Your head has to be absolutely still. Everything has to be still. Everything in your stance except basically the elbow down in your pendulum. The fourth and final fundamental is when we do finally pull that trigger, we are ending our eye pattern on the object ball. Now, to go back to the camera analogy, our eyes are so cool, they're amazing. We're actually doing a rack focus when we're doing our eye pattern, when we're going back and forth, back and forth. And when we finally do decide on pulling the trigger, we've done a rack focus from our foreground, which is our cue ball, to our background, which is our object ball. And that's done in a millisecond. And that's what makes our eyes so amazing. You've seen it in Hollywood movies all the time. It's when the foreground focuses and then goes out of focus and it focuses on the background or vice versa. That's called a rack focus. And that's what our eyes are doing with our eye pattern. We may not realize it, but it's happening because it's happening so fast. So let's put this into practice. I'm gonna move the camera and give you the perfect angle on when I shoot Shane Van Boning's aiming system and what my eyes are doing. And let's see if I'm following my own advice. Okay, so I'm gonna find my contact point. I'm gonna walk back to center myself, not taking my eyes off of the prize. As I'm centered, I'm gonna go down, watching the object ball. Now I have a wide angle, so I can go back and forth from my foreground to my background. Now I'm gonna use my Shane Van Boning, aim with the outside of the cue to a contact point. When I'm happy, I pull the trigger. 
the last ball that I looked at was the object ball. So find my contact point, walk over to center myself, not taking my eyes off of the object ball, bending down, still looking at the object ball, go down, now I'm feathering and I'm looking at it back and forth. Now I'm going to do my aim with the outside of my cue like Shane Van Boning would. Slight adjustment. And I'll pull the trigger, looking at the object ball. Head down the whole way. Well, that's all I've got for this video. Thanks again, Noah, for asking that question. That took me down memory lane. I haven't thought about that in a very, very long time. I hope that you found what you watched valuable. If you did, please hit subscribe for future content. It's going to be a really exciting year. Until the next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.